Got the timer set. See how long this takes. And I'm going angle to angle, by the way. Or diagonal. Yep. Just wake me up when I get there. I don't think I'm going to say what size this map is on this video at all. I think I'm going to let people try to guess. This hole? Huh? That'd be a good way. See if anybody can figure it out. Yeah. I can say without doubt it is the largest map working in Farming Simulator right now. To our knowledge, anyways. I think you may have heard something by now from somewhere else. You would think. I haven't even heard of anybody else even doing a six I mean a sixty four times stop that one. Yeah, I think that's the only crew that has that map, but Wow, it's a minute and a half in and it's still pretty much in the corner of the PDA. Coordinates are 30,004 or something. Yeah. Maybe I should have went ahead and loaded up one of my quick vehicles. Too late now. We want to see what this thing's like with vanilla. You know how far spaced out he has the uh, animal dealer in the shop and all that on the map? They're pretty well spaced out, right? Well, on the PDA, they're on top of each other, pretty much. <laughs> so one thing that we'll have to keep in mind, if we do actually decide to build this map, is we're going to have to put quite a bit of distance in between like cell points and stuff. Yeah. Just so on the PDA it's not. Good. Yeah. Because otherwise, on the PDA, it's just going to be murdered with letter and text. You won't be able to read it. Well, you got to make them work for selling their stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you want to play on a map this big? Well, you're going to work for it. <laughs> I wonder if they can actually hear you in the, the recording or not. Be great if they could. But I don't think I have the audio set up right for that. I guess we'll find out when uh, we go to watch this or whatever, and I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> like, wow, this guy has a pretty good conversation with his alter ego. <laughs> I just found on this map I'm trying to clean up the roads. I just found a right a section of roads where it's got two bits going off no, three sections short little roads going off it, but it doesn't connect up to the any other main roads. Huh. That's weird. Oh well he'll have to join them decide where he's gonna connect it up. <laughs> we just passed four minutes and I'm not even like a quarter. I don't even think I'm like an eighth of the way across. I might be. <laughs> so it's gonna take you how long? Oh, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> half an hour? An hour? <laughs> it could be like the longest video I've ever recorded. Just driving across <laughs> the stupid map. Nothing on it. There's a train somewhere. There's a, there's a train. Yeah, there's a train on here. Somewhere. Somewhere. It's on the outskirts of the 4X map. <laughs> which I'm not even close to yet. You'll know when you cross it. Yeah. Somewhere along the line you'll have to cross the, the, 
go over the train lines. Jesus, Primey. Even at full speed, we're already past five minutes. <laughs> and not even at the quarter way mark. You didn't know it was going to take a long time. Yeah, but didn't the other map only take us like four minutes to drive across? Oh, that was halfway across it. Shit. This is four times larger. Yeah, this could be a long video. <laughs> oh, and the skybox does work. Boom. So. Things are working. Things are looking up. An hour in the game has already passed on 5X. <laughs> Only an hour. Yeah. And now we're already in game time driving. I should have put it in real game time. Oh well. La dee da. La dee dee. Wow. Well, coordinates are now twenty three thousand. So I've knocked off seven thousand on the coordinates. The problem is I have to go the other way too. So yeah, I think we might be at the quarter way mark. Seven minutes in. Seven minutes. Fourteen minutes. Yeah, half an hour. Yeah, it's gonna be a boring ass video to watch, but. <laughs> Let them work it out what, it, what the map it is. Yeah. Pillsburg. <laughs> uh, how many vanilla maps can we put in this map? All of them. <laughs> Literally. And room to spare. With room to spare, yep. Yeah. I think I see one of the tunnels. Yep, I see one of the tunnels off in the distance. Well, so I can, the map. Yeah, so I can almost see the 4X side. <laughs> you found one of the tunnels yet on the map, have you? Well, I can barely see it way off in the distance. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they were placed on the edge of the 4X. The truck now has point four hours on it. <laughs> we are almost nine minutes in and we haven't reached the halfway point yet. Wow. This is a really freaking big map. Anything Kaz couldn't work out yesterday, or were looking at it yesterday, that we ended up doing that 4X map. Yeah. With the, about with the grass textures or something. What was wrong? Paint, painting them in there or something, again, and so it looks like you know the grass is where you can mow it or something. Yeah. We couldn't get it. Just trying to see if it was right or not because it's, when you actually look at the map, it's a gra the grass is darker in that than what the one I'm working on at the moment. Huh. The well, grass this grass all that. looks pretty normal. I mean, it's all like waving and. Yeah. So there is grass fights there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I 
have to grab the controller here in a minute because I think I'm getting ready to cross some tracks. <laughs> which means I, yeah, which means I finally made it to the 4X section of the map. Jesus. Oh, no, 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 lost speed. Get it repointed. Come on, you slow turd. We got some texture glitches on that uh, railway tunnel. We'll have to fix that. Those tunnels and everything. Uh, oh, yeah, the tunnels are going to be buried anyway, so. He just imported them into the map, so we kept them, you know, and put them on there so they can, at least they're there to use. Yeah. What needs fixing or doing with them now? I just heard the animal dealer, I think. <laughs> wow, this is just... All you hear is wind noise out here. <laughs> yeah, it's breezy out there, is it? A little bit. It is 11 and a half minutes in, and I'm almost halfway across the map. <laughs> the hell is doing that? Up, doing over 70 miles an hour. Yeah, at 74 miles an hour. Hey, there's an icon out here. What the hell? Oh, that's the shop icon, so yeah, this is not the updated PDA at all. <laughs> that's in the shop. <laughs> yeah, but it's off on the PDA, which means that the it's PDA off. is still the smaller map. That's fine, that's an easy fix. Half an hour on the truck so far. Well, you're definitely going to. You've got train tracks and trains running. You're definitely going to need trains with a lot of capacity. <laughs> yep. It's a good thing our trains hold 500,000 liters per car. And there's like 20 cars. That's a lot. And I put, put that path. script in there, that bulk script. Yeah. So yeah. Then if you get a bar if you get a barge barge running around the well, then you need to do that. How much did you say the barge holds? You've got three compartments, so they they said it holds two hundred and fifty thousand liters in each compartment at the moment. Okay, we'll definitely up that to like a million. <laughs> per compartment. I mean Otherwise, you just transfer everything on the train, right? So, if you want to use a barge, I mean, or make the barge worthwhile, I think we should up it quite a bit. Yeah. Because, I mean, those cargo ships, they hold hundreds of cargo containers on them. Yeah. And if each cargo container can hold, like, 60 to 100,000 liters, yeah. I mean, yeah, the barge should be able to do at least a million liters. Uh, 14 minutes in, and we're at, a, I don't know, about 60% of the way across. <laughs> Getting there. Yeah. I'm just glad the stupid skybox is working. I used to have a frames per second thing. I don't know how to bring that up anymore. The frames per second is F2. F2? Oh, shit, we're running 60 FPS. I mean, that makes sense since there's nothing really in this gigantic map. Wow. 
I'm just like just have my camera go around in circles as it's driving because there's absolutely nothing to worry about running into out here. <laughs> Plenty of green, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely reminds me of Kansas or Nebraska. They're probably back there sitting on the front porch still watching me drive away. So I'm going to say my average speed is probably actually about 70, 68, 70 because of the slowdown. Yeah. We'll just go with 70, it's a good round number. We're just kind of going for a general idea anyways. Yeah. Jesus. 17 minutes in, we're at about the three quarter mark. Yeah, how much game in that war bit game time? Uh, it's now 10 o'clock game time, so another hour is going by. So your hours are clocking up on your truck? Uh, the truck is at 0.6 hours. I've almost burnt an eighth of a tank of fuel. <laughs> Jesus. You would have a problem if you ran if you ran out of fuel. Right? <laughs> now just imagine having to drive through towns and whatnot and like the road is not gonna be straight across the map. You know. Uh, and there's going to be hills and stuff. Maybe a. Round this road, round that road, then down this road, round this road, round that way, they even get there. Might even have an ocean. You could put a massive port on this thing. With some massive rivers going through it. The only problem is if you put massive rivers in, you just got to make sure you got a bridge that's big enough to go across. Yep, some, and it's got to be tall enough for the barges to go under. Well, the barges on the other map, or that map, it's got the barges running on it. The bridge, they, the bridges they use is high. It's got enough clearance on it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to increase the size of the ships and everything to make them more realistic. Then you'd have to jack, stretch and jack the bridges up. Yep. But they'll have to be a bit longer, otherwise it'd be too steep to drive up. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> be like the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> We drive for two or three minutes just to get to the point, to, just to get to get there and to go over the river. Yeah. Have one bridge on the map. <laughs> what a long drive to get there. Well, I mean, this thing is going to be so massive anyways. I mean, the whole idea is to have a lot of people playing on it at one time. Yeah. You're not good for a single player. I may have to build a dedicated server just to run it. <laughs> By the way, we're 20 minutes in and I still got quite a ways to go. 
money makes Doctor Iron dedicated server. Like I'm talking like build a blade server just to run this one map. Well, if you build your own server they don't uh, map prizes and everything else and whatever else you stick in their mods or anything else you there's no limit. Exactly. Just password protected with the collaborations, you know, true, where they know yeah. what the passwords are and stuff. And um, what the other server? Yeah. They have all the right information. They're not going to get in there. Exactly. Twenty-one and a half minutes in. Two and a half hours game time. Yeah, in game time. 26 hours on the truck. Burnt an eighth of tank of fuel. No, 16th of tank of fuel, sorry. And fuel consumption's on slow, so. I'm going to put it on normal. <laughs> I'm not driving back across this map. <laughs> I just said you weren't going to put it on normal in case you oh. ran out. Yeah. Um, it'd be worse if you had a, you know, if you play, if somebody playing on there and had high fuel consumption, they'd run out of fuel because they wouldn't even get there. <laughs> I think my angle was off a little bit. It happened. Pinpointed across a map. Of course, my angle is probably right on until I hit the railroad tracks. Point seven hours on the truck. have left the uh, PDA boundaries. Again. Okay. Yep. For the large map. <laughs> I think I can see the corner of the map. Aim for it. Hit the stopwatch as soon as I hit that corner boundary. game crashed because yeah but